This team of Italian coast guards are preparing to set off along the coast of Livorno in northern Italy. Every week, this squad patrols the Mediterranean in a bid to eradicate illegal fishing. Out at sea, seven kilometers off the coast, a trawler catches the eye of the coast guards. Andante, buongiorno. Quanto tempo le serve per finire di calare? Saliremo a bordo a fare un controllo, un attimo solo, eh? On board, the officers check the fishing license and the logbook containing the species caught, but they also examine the size of the fish. European regulations set out minimum sizes for fish caught in the Mediterranean. We are measuring a meager, it's 47 centimeters. The creature is large enough to be sold. Fish smaller than seven centimeters need to remain in the sea. To ensure that, the officers also check the nets. These holes can be less than 20 millimeters that allow small fish to escape and ensures that they don't get stuck in the nets. It's true that considering how much we fish, we get fewer and fewer fish. And fewer fish and more and more fishing boats. The Mediterranean is the most overfished sea in the world. To ensure a sustainable future, the 23 members of the General Fisheries Commission for the Mediterranean have drawn up the 2030 strategy. In order to eradicate IEU fishing, the development of this GFCM uh, regional control system that is, will be an important tool. The establishment of vessel monitoring systems for all the vessels over 15 meters, their electronic logbook, but also the development of a, a winch sensor, uh, the marking of fishing gears. Marking nets is designed to tackle the problem of ghost nets, like this one, abandoned off the Italian coast about 30 meters deep. Fishing nets, they can fish forever. We need to take them off to save the wildlife from getting trapped and also from eating the microplastics later on when they will uh, break down. It's estimated that a third of fish in the Mediterranean Sea have disappeared in the last 50 years.